Welcome to my knowledge. In today's video, we will discuss how to make a propeller using AutoCAD and then how to render it. So let's begin. First of all, we will make an airfoil. For that, I have these coordinates. If you don't know how to make an airfoil using AutoCAD, uh, I have shared link of my previous video in which I have discussed how to make an airfoil. And I, I will just use spline command and then paste the coordinates in this command line. When I zoom it in, I'll have the uh, Naka airfoil. Press enter. Now I will use circle command to join the ends. It is easier. Now trim the excess lines. Select these lines, trim it. Delete excess line. Now by joining the arc with spline, we get the cross section of the airfoil. So now we go to isometric view. Place it in good position. Now, next thing should be to copy this airfoil. Click on it. Okay, after selecting the object, you have to select the point from which you want to move it. Now, I will move it in Z direction up to the end of the propeller. Let's suppose the propeller is uh, around 10 units long radially. So I will move with the increment of 2. The first air file is at 2 distance, then this, the next one is at 4, then 6, 8 and the last one is at 10 distance. After placing all the airfoils, I will change the cord length of uh, airfoils one by one. Suppose this airfoil is around, let's assume it is uh, 1.3, 0 0.3 units bigger than the first one. Then the next one is, I'm just changing its dimension is in this axis to 1.6. Now the next one, I'll extend it in same axis. one point nine and now I will uh, reduce the uh, cord, uh, cord length from one point nine to let's say I reduce it from one point nine to like one point six and the last one will be 1. Now the next thing will be to change the angle of the airfoils. I will rotate it up to the required angle. Suppose angle of this airfoil is 20. As I want to move from 0 to 90 till the end. So the first angle will be 20, for the second airfoil the angle will be around 40. As I am moving in clockwise direction and angle is negative in clockwise so that's why I am putting minus sign 
ahead of all values in that way this will become minus 60 all the values are in degrees now I will rotate the next airfoil which is this one up to 70 degrees minus 70 enter and the last one I will rotate it up to 90 degrees and here we have it now after this the next step will be to loft all these airfoils all these cross sections select all the cross sections or let me change the view from 2d wireframe to shades of gray now let's do the loft again okay uh, now, now let's do the loft command again and select this cross section first then this one and move step by step till the end now the half of uh, half of the propeller is ready next step will be to mirror this uh, half of the propeller for mi mirroring the propeller you have to change the axis because I want to mirror it okay now it's better I want to mirror it about z axis I will pick this enter now pick a point from here and we'll place another over here so the propeller is almost done the next step will be the center of the propeller I sure want to keep now to pick the center just type 0 comma 0 and I will make a diameter of around 0.7 units I think 0.7 will be good now let's see the circle a little clearly we'll extrude it up to some extent in one one will be good enough i think or 1.1 okay 1.1 units now I want to extrude the top for that I will draw another circle center of the circle will be 0 comma 0 and the radius is 0.7 now extrude this circle let me isolate and hide this object first to see the circle clearly now extrude the circle up to 0.1 units just type 0.1 and enter and here we have it 
n object isolation the propeller is almost ready now the last step will be to make a hole in it in its center and make other uh, features if you want to make in the propeller so next we will make a small hole for shaft let this uh, central hole be 0 0.2 uh, or okay 0 0.2 units extrude this small circle and then subtract it from the rest of the assembly Now next step will be to make fillet the fillet radius I think 0 0.1 will be good select the edges and press enter so the propeller is ready and is ready for rendering You can watch all the rendering steps. If you want to see it a little slow, you can slow down your video using your YouTube. So that's it for today's video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.